Hi, I'm Dr. Murphy Maston, and I'm a board certified dermatologist at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. So it's an interesting question that's brought up in that what is psoriasis versus eczema? First, I'd probably say that I wouldn't just call something eczema, uh, which means inflammation of the skin, and it's pretty nonspecific. I think the more common thing that we talk about is atopic dermatitis, and um, that's a significant condition. It has significant impacts on the patient uh, and their life. Um, ultimately, atopic dermatitis is once again a genetic uh, predisposition and then most likely an environmental trigger and uh, an abnormal immune response in the skin. And it is oftentimes chronic in nature, um, but can resolve in certain cases as the patient ages. Sometimes it develops when people become older and it is a whole different branch of the immune system, kind of the uh, counterpart to what we would see for an immune response in psoriasis. I have seen uh, eczema, dermatitis, non-specific type in uh, patients with psoriasis, uh, where their skin becomes irritated or dried, um, but I have not seen it together, atopic dermatitis and psoriasis at the same time. So 20 to 30% of children are affected by atopic dermatitis and that number continues to grow. Um, ultimately, around two to 10% of adults continue to have atopic dermatitis or develop it in their lifetime. And uh, ultimately, there's often a genetic predisposition where a parent or a sibling or someone else is affected. And it's a condition that's associated with other uh, allergic type of reactions and those would include things like food allergies, asthma, or hay fever seasonal allergies. Atopic dermatitis uh, can affect the eyesight and affecting the lens of the eye. Um, it's not common, but it is seen, and it's something that we try to take into account. Eczema can ultimately resolve in some patients, uh, but ultimately, uh, I would say that there's still some tendencies to have sensitive skin or be affected in other ways such as asthma, hay fever, uh, or food allergies uh, just because they have this predisposition uh, genetically so that sets them up for that. So whenever we're evaluating somebody with atopic dermatitis, once again we want to assess the patient individually and make sure that we're treating appropriately. I've seen cases of atopic dermatitis, which could be a dry patch of skin to somebody that is completely red and scaled and itching and miserable, uh, requiring hospitalization, secondary infections because the barrier of the skin is, is involved and ultimately dysfunctional. Um, the mainstay once again would be uh, to use topical corticosteroids, uh, also light therapy. There are immunosuppressive medications that ultimately try to combat that abnormal immune response. There's also uh, a wonderful group of biologic medications uh, which come as pills and uh, injections which have actually become available in the last decade uh, which have changed the actual environment and uh, management of these conditions for the better. I've seen life-changing instances in those cases. I think that atopic dermatitis, eczema, uh, affects not only the patient but the people who care for that person, uh, especially since it has such a tendency to start um, in young children and ultimately uh, proceed to affect them throughout their adolescence and possibly into adulthood. Um, oftentimes, uh, I think that it impacts their quality of life uh, from the standpoint of not having to itch at night and get a full night's sleep, uh, quality of schoolwork, ability to keep a job because of the allergies that they may develop and the fact that their skin may become infected. Um, it's, it's quite profound and I'm really glad that I can help these people. I would encourage anybody with skin care concerns to reach out to us at CMH Dermatology Clinic in Bolivar, Missouri. We're trained and capable of handling complex medical dermatology including rashes. We specialize in skin cancer, uh, screenings and evaluations and management. If you have any concerns, you can contact us as stated at 417-328-4500 or you can reach out to your local primary provider or physician for a referral.